Oh, hello, I'm Gav. In this lovely slow-mo video, we're going to be recreating the effects of a depth charge against a submarine and obviously filming it at insane frame rates. Not a real submarine, they're quite expensive, so we're going to use a scale model that fits inside this here fish tank. This video is sponsored by GoPro. For all the slow-mo footage shot from outside the tank, we'll be using phantoms as normal, but to get shots from inside the tank in the danger zone, we'll be using the GoPro Hero 9 Black because it's very rugged and you can get a waterproof housing for it. We actually had a GoPro Hero 1 rolling during our very first shoot and have used them countless times over the last 10 years. And we've put them in some pretty dangerous situations. Such as crash, bang, hot, wet, and up. So I'm very thankful that they're sponsoring this video today. Why don't we fill the tank and get going? Okay, here we have the sub in the tank for the first experiment. I'm gonna be placing a depth charge just in proximity to the sub, see if it does any damage with just the shockwave. There's an air bladder inside that might be ruptured and it's also keeping it buoyant. We will be rolling at 200 frames a second on this GoPro and I preset all the settings with my phone. However, Wi-Fi doesn't work through water, so once we submerge, I'll have to frame it using the screens built in. Thankfully, there's one on the front and the back so I can get the correct framing. That actually looks pretty epic there, looking straight down the sub. So if we put the depth charge in front of it on this side, we should be able to see if it wobbles the sub in place. On the outside of the tank, I'm going to be filming this at 28,500 frames a second on a Phantom, which means I'm about to turn on some very bright lights. Okay, we're now cooking under the hot lights. GoPro is running at 200 in the tank. The Phantom Flex 4K is running at 1,000. And for the nice tight explosion shot, we're running at 28,500, which should be fast enough, but we may go faster. The depth charge is hanging just in front in the middle of the sub. I think we're ready to pop it. Three, two, one, bang. Nice little puff. Oh, you can just see the shockwave bouncing around off that glass, just vibrating everything. It actually moves insanely fast. If I just put an arrow that marks the travel of the shockwave as it dislodges bubbles, you can see how quickly it moves. Even dislodging bubbles from the GoPro housing itself. At 28,500 frames a second, this is now over a thousand times slower than real time. Whoa. Just love that expansion of gas, just carving out an empty sphere in the middle of the water. You can see that the way the charge separated, we actually lost a lot of energy there because the bottom sort of shot off. The pressure of the surrounding water will now close that back up, which means that not only is there a shockwave traveling around that tank from the original explosion, the moment it all slams closed, it will release another shockwave, which will bounce around in there, just vibrating every single joint of this submarine. <laughs> it even popped open the little escape hatch. <laughs> Love it. Okay, so now we're gonna more tightly wrap that charge and hopefully give us a bit more punch by wasting less energy downwards. For those curious as to why I'm blasting this with so much light, you may remember from the original underwater video, in order to get any detail in the explosion itself, I had to stop the lens down so much that everything else was almost pitch black. And I wanted to capture detail inside the explosion as well as the submarine itself. So by hitting it with much more light, I can stop the lenses down so that the explosions aren't just pure white and the submarine isn't pure darkness. I'm now slightly closer on both cameras just to really see the, the meat of the explosion. Center it up there. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, bang. Woo. Blew the top off. <laughs> but the air bladder still intact. Very interesting one. Oh, I saw some great frames in there. I think I saw the thumbnail. Let me find, let me see the thumbnail frame. Yeah, I think that's the one. I think that's the thumbnail. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's just through the entire, look at those vortices. 
is because it threw the entire explosion forwards into the glass. It's always just so interesting to see explosions at such a leisurely pace. You can see it's thrown the front of that out of focus just because it came so far forwards. And here you can see the granules, the, the powder from the new explosion actually moving with such velocity they've escaped the original explosion sphere and now they're being sucked back in as it all implodes and shoots forwards. Just an absolutely devastating effect on all the joints of the sub. We're only about a foot underwater here, but the camera is actually waterproof out of the box to 33 feet. That depth charge looked great. However, I really want to bust the air bladder inside. So what we're going to do now, same depth charge in the same place. However, there are now three charges on the top to hopefully blow the top of the sub open. And there's one on the inside so that the bag definitely breaks. So we should see a nice bubble of air and maybe it will sink. I now have a second GoPro mounted on the bottom. This one is recording in 4K, not slow-mo, just to get the sub sinking, if it does sink. This one, still rolling in slow-mo, 200 frames a second, is now mounted to the sub itself and mounted extremely close to the charges. Should get some lovely footage, but will probably go flying. Thankfully, because it's such a rugged camera, the footage will be saved, in theory. Three, two, one, bang! Whoa! <laughs> Can't wait to see the footage on that. Where's the GoPro landed? Oh yeah, it, okay, it flew off, but... Let me see if I can see if it's rolling. I still see a flashing red light. That's very good news. Oh, those charges on top were meaty. Just sent a shockwave all the way down the end, snapping the sub at its rear joint. And the fact that you can see the surface of the water really shows you how much that glass is wobbling back and forth. Whoa! So the, the big charges on top went off before the depth charge on the side. And you can see tiny cavitation bubbles working their way from right to left as it travels, just tearing up that plastic of the sub. I speed it up and back and forth that you can see its travel. It also shot a lovely bubble ring from that hole directly below the charge. So the air bladder inside definitely popped, but it, the shock waves are just bouncing the air around inside. And the depth charge there, it must have been waterlogged because <laughs> it pretty much just coughed instead of its usual explosion. GoPro's still on there. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, the air took a long time to come out just because the shock waves were bouncing it around inside, sending some of it down, some of it left and right. Mental. Now let's see if the GoPro saw anything useful before it was chucked. Oh yeah, oh, yeah we saw some good frames there. No issues with the footage. A lot of times that I've put cameras near massive shockwaves like that, you will get artifacts and glitches. But I didn't see an issue with any of those frames there. Whoa. <laughs> and then there's the other one landing. That shockwave was so powerful, it actually jumped the very heavy metal bar, keeping the sub weighed down. Well, there we have it, some lovely looking footage, and as expected, the GoPros got chucked all over the place, especially the ones I mounted to the submarine itself. But they all survived, got the footage off all of them, and uh, did a damn good job, in my opinion. If you care about my opinion on this camera, the things I like about it over the previous versions is mainly this clip. I'm not sure when this started. My previous GoPro, you need an external housing to mount it to stuff. I love that it's built into the camera body now, and the front screen is great when you can't get around the back of the camera. If you want a Hero 9 Black of your own, go to gopro.com slash slow-mo guys. Big old thanks to GoPro for sponsoring this video. Even bigger thanks to you for watching it. If you like slow-mo in general, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.